Hey guys, I'm Teddy Spicer, and welcome to another edition of the always entertaining Weekly Dish here on YesNetwork.com. A few weeks ago, we brought you a story about Dirk Nowitzki's alleged girlfriend being arrested at his house. Not only did she have several outstanding arrest warrants, but she also had a ton of aliases that she's used in the past. Now, in her first interview from jail, the incarcerated woman is not only saying that she's pregnant, but that her and Nowitzki are engaged. But boo-hoo, Nowitzki hasn't called yet. Some advice for Dirk, don't. George Brett is a very famous baseball player. George Brett loves the Royals, his former team, and their current manager, Trey Hillman. A lot. Just watch the following clip. Every manager takes criticism. Every manager is going to take criticism. I don't give a if you're Joe Tory. You're going to take criticism. You know? I think the problem is, in this town, we have, we've lost so many years in a row that people don't have any patience. So as soon as somebody, as soon as he does something that the media doesn't like, they, they explode on him. Green Bay Packers running back Najee Davenport was visiting some family members earlier this week and left his car riding on the sidewalk. Quick side story. When Davenport was younger, he saved up $500 to buy this very car. Since then, he's put thirty-five grand into it, but needless to say, the car has some sentimental value. Anyway, some genius saw the car running on the side of the street and decided to steal it. Well, when Davenport saw this, he jumped into another car and chased him. The chase ended when the thief crashed into several parked cars and tried to flee on foot. Then, Big Nas jumped out of his car and chased him on foot, caught up with him, and detained him until the cops arrived on the scene. Two words to describe Najee Davenport. Bad Earlier this week, there was a feud between the NBA and WWE because Monday's upcoming Western Conference Finals conflicted with the already scheduled Monday Night Raw at the Denver Pepsi Center. Since then, the feud has been resolved, but WWE President Vince McMahon's reaction is just too good to not show you. Uh, quite frankly, it's my view that uh, Stan Kroenke should be arrested. Uh, should be arrested for impersonating a good businessman uh, because he's not a good businessman. A good businessman uh, does it book a World Wrestling Federation live televised event on Monday night, realizing that uh, his team in all likelihood would not make the playoffs. I think that the Denver Nuggets fans had a lot more faith in terms of the team making the playoffs than the owner Stan Kronsky, so he should be arrested for uh, impersonating a good businessman. And now for a semi-weekly clip we're starting here on The Dish called The Weekly Dish Classic Clip of the Week. For this inaugural clip, we bring you the classic Afro Ninja. Well, that's it for this edition of the Weekly Dish. Have a fantastic Memorial Day weekend, and we'll see you here next Friday. For YesNetwork.com, I'm Teddy Spicer.